Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are three ways to blend images together. First, I'm going to create a new document at the desired canvas size, and then I'll open all of the images that I want to use and choose Window, Arrange, Tile. With the Move tool selected, I'll click on each individual photograph and drag and drop it into the untitled document, and then close the individual photographs. On the Layers panel, I'll hide the visibility of Layer 3 and target Layer 2. With the Move tool selected, I'll reposition the clouds at the top of the new document. To slowly blend one image into another, I'll click the Add Layer Mask icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Where the mask is white, we can see the contents of the layer. Black will hide the contents of the layer. I'll tap the G key to select the Gradient tool, and tap the D key to set my default foreground and background colors. Dragging a gradient from white to black will slowly hide the bottom of the photograph. You can experiment with dragging gradients of different lengths. The shorter the gradient, the more abrupt the transition is going to be. A second method for compositing images is to first make the selection and then add the layer mask. I'll target the layer and make it visible, tap the W key to select the Quick Select tool, and click and drag over the suitcase to select it. Then I'll click the Add Layer Mask icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Photoshop automatically creates a mask based on that selection. To soften the edge around the object, on the Properties panel we'll add a slight feather. Another way to composite images is by painting in the layer mask. In this example, I'll tap the B key to select the paintbrush. Use the Brush Preset Picker in order to set the different options for the brush. And then I'll tap the X key to exchange my foreground and background color so that I'm painting with black in order to hide the bottom of the suitcase and make it appear as if it's sitting in the water. 